Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Miss Robinson and I'm back with another math video for you guys. Today I'm just doing a very quick introduction to some addition properties that I want you guys to be familiar with as we prepare to start chapter one. Chapter one, we're gonna be dealing with addition and subtraction through 1000, but this particular video is just gonna focus on some addition properties that we may encounter and eventually that we hopefully will apply to our learning. So before I tell you about the properties, I also wanna make sure that we understand what a pattern is. A pattern is anytime you see a set of numbers or things or shapes or anything in a certain sequence and that sequence is repeated. So for example, if I wanted to line my students, students up as boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl, that's a pattern. If I wrote the numbers four, five, four, five, four, five, that's a pattern. So let's just make sure that we understand what a pattern is. And then on to the properties, we are going to be learning about three properties in this video. We are gonna learn about the identity property of addition, the commutative property of addition, and the associative property of addition. So in just a second, I'm gonna show you guys what those properties look like, explain what they say or what they tell us about some of our addition rules. And then of course, I'll come back at the very end, wrap it up, and then you guys will be done for the day. So in just a second, I'm gonna flip the camera around, show you those examples, and then we'll close the video for today. So I will see you guys in just a second. Okay, let's look at our first property. The first property that we are going to learn about is called the identity property of addition. And this property says that the sum of any number and zero is always going to be that number. So when we use the word sum, we should recognize that sums are answers to addition problems. So this property says anytime I add a number such as one, plus zero, my answer is always going to be the same as that number. So one plus zero will equal one because I'm adding zero to it. If I do the seven plus zero, the identity property tells me that my sum would be seven because anytime you take a number and add zero to it, the sum will be that same number. Even if I get as large as 100,000, if I take 100,000 plus zero, what's my answer gonna be? You should have guessed my answer is going to be 100,000 based on the identity property of addition. So this one is really easy. If you are adding zero to the number, your number or your sum is going to be exactly the same as that number that you were adding zero to. The next property I'm gonna show you is called the commutative property. So in the commutative property, the commutative property tells you that the order in which you add numbers does not change the sum. So if I did three plus four and I knew that three plus four is seven, I should then also know that if I switched the order using the commutative property and said, you know what, instead of doing three plus four, I'm gonna do four plus three. My sum will also be seven. Let's try another one. What if I did two plus four? we should know that two plus four is going to be six. And then let's say I use the commutative property of addition and said, you know what, let me erase this. I'm going to do instead of two plus four, four plus six, or plus two, sorry. My add-ins didn't change, the numbers that I'm adding didn't change, but the order in which I wrote them did change. So four plus two is six, and that is the same thing as me saying two plus four. We already found out that that was six. So the commutative property is all about the order. No matter what order you put those add-ins in, your sum is always going to be the same as long as you don't change your add-ins. The next and the final property that I'm gonna show you is going to be called the associative property. the associative property and the associative property what I like to do is tell myself to remind myself of what this property actually shows me is I like to say you know what the associative property is like the supersized version of the commutative property we learned with the commutative property just a moment ago that the order in which you place your add-ins will not change the sum so if I choose to add 10 plus 3 and I know that that's gonna be 13 I know that if I do 3 plus 10 
I'm still gonna get 13 as my sum because I didn't change my add-ins, I just changed the order of them. The associative property is dealing with the same idea or same concept. The only difference that you should notice is that first and foremost, instead of dealing with just two numbers, in this case, I'm dealing with three. So you would use the associative property when you are dealing with more than two add-ins. More than two numbers are being added. Secondly, you should notice these little things here. These are called parentheses, and the parentheses are used to show how you are choosing to group your add-ins using the associative property. So let's take a look here. If I add in parentheses first, because I'm saying that's what I want grouped together, 16 plus 7, I know that I'm going to get 23. 16 plus 7 is 23. And then I would take 23 plus 23, and that would give me a sum of 46. But if I wanted to change my add-ins and group them differently and therefore add them differently, I would still get the same sum. So you should notice here, my add-ins are in a different order and I've grouped them differently. Here I grouped 16 plus 7, but in this one I'm grouping 7 plus 23. So if I do 7 plus 23, I know that that's going to be 30. And if I add 16 to that, I know that 30 plus 16 is going to be 46. Notice that I still get the same sum even though I change the grouping of my add-ins and therefore change the order. Now you may be asking yourself, well why would I ever want to change the order or change the grouping? Well one reason you might want to do it is because you're looking for ways to create mental math problems or to make solving a math problem a little bit simpler. So for me, this option is easier because I know mentally when I add 23 plus 7 I just know that I'm going to get 30 and 30 plus 16 is much easier for my mind to add mentally and we'll get more into that as we get more experience with these properties and as we get more experience with adding but I just wanted to introduce those properties to you so just think of the associative property as your supersized commutative property so those are the three properties that we're going to learn today I'm going to flip the camera back around come back with some closing thoughts and we will be all done in this particular lesson so there are your addition properties so just to wrap up and refresh making sure that we know a pattern is a predictable sequence of either numbers objects Anything like that that helps you to know what's coming next because you recognize the pattern, you know how the pattern works, and by recognizing the pattern, knowing how the pattern works, it helps you to know what is coming next. Remember also that we only looked at three properties and they were all the properties of addition that we are talking about today. The identity property, the commutative property, and the associative property. I would like for you to remember that the commutative property and the associative property are very similar and I like to think of the associative property as like the supersized version of the commutative property. You may be dealing with a few more numbers if you're working with the associative property than you would be when working with the commutative property. But they really do go over kind of the same idea and same concepts in terms of the order of the numbers when you add them or the way that you group numbers when you add them. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap this video up here. If you found this video helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up or like it or whatever you want to say. And I will be sure to see you guys in the next video. Until then, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye everyone.